Hi, I'm Bridget, and this is the Popcorn Show. It's Wednesday, August 15th. Wednesday, the work week's midlife crisis. When some stars announce that they're ready to have kids, it makes you cringe. Others make you start thinking about how cute their babies are going to be. Drew Barrymore is ready to start a family, and she's one I can't wait to see as a mom. Drew still looks so much like she did when she was little. Remember her in E.T.? In a recent interview with InStyle magazine, Drew said, I definitely feel the beginnings of a TikTok. Whether I have children or adopt, whatever form a family comes in, I would absolutely love to have it. Drew is 31 and is currently dating the drummer for the band The Strokes, Fabrizio Moretti. Yep, Fabrizio. Love The Strokes. Love the name. You guys should have babies. And then there's other people that shouldn't be having babies anytime soon. For example, Paris Hilton. She likes to be the best at things. She likes to think she's leaving her impact on society. Well, she officially has. Paris has made it into the 2007 Guinness Book of World Records as the most overrated person. The decision as to who was the most overrated person was decided by a series of magazine polls. Across the polls, Paris was a clear winner. And for that, Paris, congratulations. And hey, what a coincidence. A master of illusion spends $50 million on a tiny cluster of islands and just happens to find the fountain of youth there. Seriously. Or at least that's what David Copperfield is saying. He bought four tiny islands in the Bahamas and now he swears that he's discovered the fountain of youth on one of them. No, seriously. The island is called Mushakai. It's currently a resort that costs $300,000 a week to rent and is popular with celebrities. $300,000 a week. Which seemed expensive before, but he's got quite the new sales pitch. Copperfield says, quote, I've discovered a true phenomenon. You can take dead leaves. They come in contact with the water. They become full of life again. Bugs or insects that are near death come in contact with the water. They'll fly away. It's an amazing thing. Very, very exciting. Yeah, that would be exciting if it wasn't crazy. Copperfield also said that no one's allowed to swim in or drink from his fountain of youth until biologists and geologists are finished examining its potential effects. I can almost see the primetime special slash skincare line slash team of crack lawyers drawing up extended disclaimers now. This is Bridget, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Check out popcrunch.com for celebrity news updates throughout the day.